Hi everyone, my name is Lawrence and today Rui and myself are going to walk you through some concepts and standards protocols for network traffic flow management. What is it? How does it work? Which technologies are out there? And more. One of the most intriguing aspects of network management is finding out exactly what's going through your network. Multiple protocols are traveling across your network, but what exactly is the relationship between them? How much is HTTP? How much is DNS? Who are the biggest talkers or listeners? All this information can be easily collected thanks to flow export protocols. Rui will now go over these concepts. Thank you, Lawrence. That's right. In traditional network monitoring, we'd actively go out and request information from the network products using SNMP or API calls. But serving multiple clients simultaneously increases overhead and even causes the products to drop some requests during heavy traffic. With flow export protocols, network equipment pushed information out to us. This is how it works. Network traffic information is collected with an agent as it enters or exits a network devices interface and then is exported towards a collector. A collector is a piece of software typically running somewhere in the network responsible for receiving and storing traffic records from an exporter, which is running on the product itself. Then an analysis application will go over the received traffic information and generate beautiful graphs and charts breaking down the different protocols. It will profile the traffic and even help you detect suspicious network behavior. IP traffic information and statistics are collected on the interfaces where the protocol is enabled. Then, depending on the protocol, these can either be aggregated into flow records or sampled. NetFlow is probably the protocol that first jumps to mind. It's Cisco proprietary and aims at aggregating packets into flow records. Flow records are a unidirectional sequence of packets containing fields like source and destination IP address, IP protocol, UDP and TCP ports, and type of IP service. These are then pushed to a collector for storage and analysis. However, supported network equipment tends to export a flow record only when it determines that the flow is finished. Thus, the network traffic being analyzed isn't necessarily real time. Furthermore, Records are usually exported via UDP, and since version 8, NetFlow can aggregate a lot of data into one single record. So, if a NetFlow packet on its way to a collector gets lost or corrupted, all its contained records will be lost forever, especially because the router doesn't remember the records that were already exported. NetFlow was later standardized by IPFIX, which is based on NetFlow version 9. Now, SFlow, short for sampled flow, doesn't know of flows or packets aggregation at all, but instead it allows for exporting samples of truncated packets. This makes it scalable and applicable for high-speed networks and high-bandwidth backbones, but also an attempt at making the traffic analysis approximating real-time. SFlow achieves this in two ways, random sampling and time-based sampling. The first one takes one out of n packets randomly. The second one does it based on a polling interval. Believe it or not, it's still more efficient than SNMP when monitoring many interfaces. Like NetFlow, the data is sent as UDP, but loss of packets results only in a slight reduction of the sampling rate without affecting the accuracy of the measurements too much. These are some of the most prevalent protocols and are supported by many products from different vendors. But there are also vendor-specific equipment protocols like Netstream for HP and Huawei, CFlow-D for Nokia, etc. Flow collectors and analyzers receive information from the exporter, processes them and can analyze this data to be presented to the user in an easy and intuitive way. Scrutinizer and SolarWinds are two of the most popular analyzer tools in the market right now. Scrutinizer has support for NetFlow, SFlow, JFlow, NetStream and IPFIX. It's marketed more as a full incident response system by analyzing the network traffic to report on security issues. Can be deployed as hardware, VM or software as a service. The SolarWinds traffic analyzer supports NetFlow, SFlow, JFlow, IPFIX and NetStream. It's designed to identify which protocols, addresses or applications consume the most bandwidth. 
It analyzes patterns in traffic and performs network forensics. Flow Monitoring is one of the data miner apps that integrates flow export protocols not just to analyze network performance, but also to align it towards media services management by monitoring IP multicast streaming and monitoring of the control plane in general. So it's more than just an analyzer. To achieve this, it also combines all the diverse data and feature sets available in the data miner system. That's all we have for you right now. Check out our Data Miner Dojo community to find out more information on what Data Miner can do for you managing your ICT and media networks.